Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we're going to show you that you can run an RGB strip and a PWM fan directly from the new RTX FTW3 cards. Uh, this will work for an FTW3 um, 2080 Ti as well as the 2080 model and uh, any unit that's based upon this PCB. So uh, first thing we want to do on the front of the card here, very leading edge, there is uh, both a fan header and an RGB header. So let's go ahead and get our fan hooked up. Uh, we always recommend doing this with the system turned off. All right, and then we're gonna get our strip connected as well. All right, so now we're ready to power this thing on. Now we're booted up into Windows and we have Precision X1 open. Uh, Precision X1 has some pretty cool features when it comes to these cards. Um, you'll notice here on the main page, you have your fan control settings, and now instead of saying three fans, we have a fourth fan. So if I turn this fourth fan on, uh, this fourth fan is the fan that we connected, the PWM fan. So we get complete control of that fan. Uh, we also get the RPM, so it's running at about 2400 RPM, which is correct for this model. Um, if we want all the fans to run in unison, say we want them to run all at about half speed. Let's see here. There we go. Oop, one less. There we go. Run them all at 50% speed. We can go ahead and do that and all fans are spinning. Um, you can set fan curves and have this follow it. This is particularly nice if you have, say, a, a breakout box that lets you hook up a lot of PWM fans and use one PWM signal. Um, that way you can control perhaps all of your case fans based off of a temperature curve of your GPU, which is probably the most heat producing component in your system. Um, moving on to LEDs, we have an LED tab at the top. Um, right now everything is set to red, but say we want everything to go to green. Um, you can set that and you can see this strip is matching what the card is showing. Um, if I wanted the card to stay, say, a red color, but the strip to stay a green color, you can see I set LED 1 to red and LED 2, which is the strip, is staying on green. If I want to set it all to red, then I would do all. So you can see by adding a RGB header as well as a PWM fan header, uh, you can get a lot more control in Precision X1 using your new RTX FTW3 card as kind of the hub for the colors and the fan control in your system. Uh, this is a really cool feature. I don't think too many people are aware that the FTW3 specifically has this functionality, so, so we wanted to show you guys that today. Um, but we were thinking, since the RTX card technically has the functionality of a USB port, which we'll go in later, and it does have a PWM header, that sounds suspiciously close to the requirements to run a CLC. So, in a future video, we're going to try to examine that a little bit further. Recording, although it should zoom in a little bit. Okay, and that's not zoom. Okay, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Just hold the camera with the phone. Hello, friends and fans of EVG. <laughs> okay, I'm not even looking at the right camera.